Today on Houston Life, from a Hocus Pocus reunion to some bad news for the Great Pumpkin, we're talking Halloween movies. Plus, a familiar local face is getting a boost in her self-esteem, the easy procedures that can help you look and feel better. And the dreaded tech neck. Have you heard of it? We have simple tips to make you look your best on your next video call. That and so much more starts right now. <laughs> is that for real? From Studio B at KPRC Channel 2, Houston Life starts now. Hi, everybody. So glad to have you with us today on Houston Life. It's October 21st. I'm Derek Shore. And I'm Courtney Savala. All day I kept thinking, today's Thursday. I it wish. Not. It feels like a Monday. <laughs> I wish it were it's a been Friday. The week, right? As I get older, I realize time is my biggest deficit. I ripped my pants. My hair is sticking up. We've been on Zoom calls all morning. All morning it's long. It's been a day, but now that it's three o'clock, hopefully it can only get better from here. Boo boo, what happened to your pants? It, let's just say I'm glad I have a desk <laughs> between my pants and the world outside. What happened? You're doing the splits again in the hallway. <laughs> That's yes. <laughs> Sometimes bad pants happen to good people. <laughs> Bad splits happen to good people. Sometimes it happens to bad people, too. Sometimes. Yeah, the jury's still out here. But we're going to have a lot of fun today. Absolutely. And we're going to catch up about your eye and the Zoom calls and all of the things in just a few minutes. But as always, we have a very busy Houston life. We do. Lots of stuff, as you heard, at the top of the show. Now we're going to check in with Joe and Lauren for a look at what they have coming up. Joe, Sam, what's up? Well, I think my pants are all good, Derek. So, you know, Courtney and Derek, I'll make sure that they're good to go. So you just stay seated, Derek, and you'll be good. But coming up today, we're going to be talking about some bug tasting. I wanted to get a little adventurous with my taste buds for the Halloween season. So I headed down to one of Houston's best-known restaurants to see if I could stomach eating bugs in a few of their tasty dishes. So I'm going to try and see if I can stomach that, you guys, without throwing up. No. You can totally you can do totally it. You can totally do it. And I, th I think there's, like, it's kind of hidden a little bit. Isn't it? Yeah, it's hidden okay. in the in the tasty dishes. So you, you it's kind of masked by all of those tasty flavors, but you still feel the crunch and the legs here and there. I love too. a good crunch. Yeah, well, there you go. Why not? And good protein. <laughs> and it's not just a novelty, guys. I'm telling you, eating insects, that is the future. So Joe, we're very much looking forward to that piece and what ends up in your mouth. Lauren, <laughs> you're hanging out at one of the most colorful spots in Houston, I see. You guys can keep the bugs. I'm going to keep the booze. I'm at Present Company. It's at Montrose in West Tiber, one of my favorite places in the city, one of the most Instagrammable bars, and they are so ready for Halloween. Look, just like I am. I ain't afraid of no ghosts, and I'm going to be trying some delicious cocktails that they have coming up for their Halloween menu. They even reserved me my own cabana. Oh. This never happens. I am so ready for this. So, you guys, mm, mm hmm Oh, yeah. I'll tell you all about that coming up a little bit later How on. Fun. Your own Back cabana, but boo COVID. You just have the pillows to hang out with. <laughs> <laughs> we'll Tragic. see in a little bit. I always love that she dresses the part, too. Lauren always has the best outfits on her assignments. She I love sure her little does. ghost buster. So as, as we were saying earlier, we were on back to back to back to back Zoom calls. In the midst of mine, I had a parent-teacher conference in between two work ones. You so, did? Yes. How did you squeeze it in? I, you just do it. It's what we do now. Oh, wow. I know. Oh, wow. I'm happy okay. to report it was very, very good uh, parent-teacher conferences, so I was okay, very excited. Good. But, you know, Zoom calls, Zooming is a way of life yeah. now, and from unmuted mics to unwanted distractions, it's very common for things to go wrong. Yes. Right. And, well, we talked about this a few months ago we when did. Zoom first became a thing. I didn't know what a Zoom call was. In fact, I don't think most people did until right. March. And remember, we highlighted this woman who turned herself into a potato <laughs> with one of those silly the backgrounds. Uh, backgrounds. Right? Yeah. And. There it is, there right it is. there on your screen. That's the potato on the right side. <laughs> I love it. It's kind of tough to see, but I guess she had a tough time getting it back to normal, and that caused a good laugh. But so many things like burping when you think your mic is muted, falling asleep in a Zoom class. Um, so today, we were on this company wide meeting, Courtney, as you just mentioned, and I don't know what it is. We have a couple problems at our house. We have cat problems. They like to use our front yard right. there. And then uh, the fruit fly problem that we had earlier this spring. Well, it's back. back. 
they're back somehow. And they're big and they're fast, right? It's Definitely like they were hibernating flies. or something. Well, I don't know. But during today's Zoom call, though, I, there was a time when it, like, one was flying back and I thought, okay, I can't do anything because it's, it's flying right in front of my face, but all of my coworkers can see me. And then I let my guard down. But you probably didn't notice. There was a moment when I smacked it no. right in front of, the, front of the screen. I was muted, but I think it was a pretty good visual. Well, that's really good. My problem is, so I was on, we were on a computer for uh, the parent-teacher conference, and I, I ran upstairs into Orlando's office oh. so we could do that one together. And then I quickly ran downstairs because he needed to jump on another call. And so I ran downstairs, and I just clicked on my phone. So, you know, I'd have to scroll through several screens to see who's on. Um, I always have to make sure that my mic is muted because Oscar's barking, kids want to say something, the doorbell's ringing. There I just sit there times. with my coffee cup, you know. There's a few times that I drop things and Yeah, scream. you screamed a few times on I the calls. Did. What'd you think about today's call? Like, do you take notes? What do you typically do during the Zoom call? No, I don't take notes. <laughs> you don't? No. <laughs> so what do you do? You just like pay attention and like... I mean, my eyes are open. Is that, that's good, right? Really? Yeah, I was paying attention. Yes, of Are course. Are you sure about that? Why? Oh, I closed my eyes. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you. I know. <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> I told you, I texted you after the call. I was like, I can't. <laughs> so what's can happening here? Are you- I'm <laughs> dreaming. <laughs> resting your eyes? Yes. Or are you like full on I have on an asleep? eye problem. <laughs> <laughs> I have an eye problem. I needed my drops, everything. I think you need more hours of sleep. <laughs> I do. I wake up at 5.15. <laughs> so you're you're a horrible human you're being. A busy professional. <laughs> I'm a busy me? professional. Wait, I looked up and oh, I thought, I don't care. wait a minute. Is she looking down at her phone? I didn't know if you were looking down at something. <laughs> so no. I, I enlarged your screen. and <laughs> There it was. <laughs> and what's funny is... The person speaking on the call at the time had sort of said something that you kind of agreed with, and you were like, mm -hmm. I was listening. I had my earbuds in. <laughs> it is incredible that you can multitask so well. You can sleep yes. and participate you know, I in a to, meeting. I used to take a nap in the newsroom. Scanners rolling, sitting straight up at my desk. Listen, when you work in television, you have to get very, very creative. You have to get creative and take <laughs> advantage of the moment. <laughs> you certainly do. And especially now, being a parent teacher at home. You're a horrible human being. I cannot wait for paybacks. <laughs> You're horrible. <laughs> You're lucky I could take a joke. I don't put things on TV. I just react to the things I see. You're horrible. Why do you blame me? Okay, we can change the subject now. Hey, remember a few months back, early COVID, Mazda did something that was so cool. They were giving free oil changes to first responders and healthcare workers who were on the front line. It was fantastic. Yes. I mean, they saw so many people. And I think it, it wasn't just happening here in Texas. It was happening nationwide. They're doing it again. And this time, guys, listen up, take notes. In honor of Mazda's 100th anniversary, get this, Courtney. They're giving away 50 Mazda Miatas cars away to 50 community heroes all across America. So that means one hero in every state. There will be someone chosen from right here in Texas. And we should point out submissions are open until Sunday, this Sunday, October 25th. And what's great is you can nominate yourself. You can nominate someone you know. Uh, visit the Mazda Heroes website. We're going to post that on our Houston Life page. And it's so great because you hear all these stories about incredible people doing things to give back to their community. It's really incredible. And so that can be life changing for so many people. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, for sure. And I think that during COVID, we've sort of seen so many different extremes. I mean, I, I feel like people's hardships have really um, taken a front row seat, right? Because so many businesses have been suffering. Uh, so many hourly employees have either, you know, had their jobs cut back or when they've gone back to work, so there, there's such a limited number of staff that they're right. working really long hours. So if there's anyone you can think of who deserves to have one of these automobiles, uh, please nominate them on that Mazda Heroes website. I think it's fantastic. And the winner announced December 2nd, December but this 2nd. is open now for the nomination. It is open now until again this Sunday, October 25th. So 
I think it's fantastic Mazda's doing this, and hopefully y'all can, can sign up and nominate someone. You know what? Can I just tell you that I have sweat dripping down my back? from your little stint that what you put stint? me on the TV sleeping. I mean, I just closed my eyes. I wasn't exactly sleeping. Well, but... you just said sleeping, so well, what was it? Looked it looked like, well, I was reacting. I was listening. I just closed my eyes. Tired eyes. <laughs> You'll forgive me, right? You are so, I do a lot of good work when I close my eyes and really process what I'm hearing. Listen, everyone has fallen asleep on a Zoom call. I remember back in college having classes where it would be so painful to try to stay awake. Do you remember that? I mean, sometimes you find no, yourself. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you had no <laughs> angst about falling asleep. You would just nap. I would just fall asleep. You know those times when you're so tired yes. it hurts, but you have to force your, it's like if you had toothpicks. toothpicks to prop your eyelids open. Sometimes we need those at work, in our personal lives, at school. So we feel you and we are human. I just hope it wasn't Jerry that was talking when I was doing that. I don't remember, but I do remember closing my eyes. It was, anyway. Jerry is the big boss here. Our he team. is the big Hi, boss. Jerry. So I'm so excited. Today I was talking to AJ this morning about what Halloween movies you're excited about. He's, yeah. he's into scary movies, loves it. Yeah. And um, he knows that I'm such a huge fan. This is the original squad, right? Oh, I see on your shirt. I the didn't Sanderson even notice. The Sanderson sisters. Okay, from? Hocus, Hocus Pocus. Pocus. Yes. So the Sanderson sisters, they are back for one night only. Did you, you love the movie? I loved Tell the movie. Tell me you saw it. I saw it a year ago for the first time ever. Okay. And this was, for Sarah Jessica Parker, this was before she was in Sex and the City. Oh, yes. Do you a know long this time premiered ago. 27 years ago? Oh, well, the of course I movie. didn't see it. I'm not that old. Yes, you are. Anyway, um, so what's happening, this is really cool. Of course, Bette Midler, she recently, recently announced on social media that the trio, they reunited again for Hocus Pocus, the reunion. This is happening October 30th at 7 p.m. Tickets are $10. Here's what's happening. Normally, Beth, Bette Midler does this, like, incredibly huge costume party on Halloween. COVID times, not happening. Okay. She's putting this, they did the movie, allowing, it's a one night only on October 30th. You can go and purchase a $10 ticket. It goes directly to her charity, which is about restoring New York and restoration and different things. But that's where you can see the movie, exclusive. Wait, so I don't get it. They're reenacting the movie? No. Or what? It's They're where just... they are now. It's, it's getting them back together. So it's not the same movie. It's wow. like Hocus Pocus 2. Okay, well, that's worth 10 bucks, especially if it's for a great cause. Such a great movie. That so funny. So great. I love this shirt. I couldn't wait to wear it. Today was a perfect day. Um, the other thing that's really crazy. So remember a couple weeks ago we talked about Taco Bell? Oh, the really, Mexican pizza. The Mexican pizza. That was this gone. week. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, you know, they announced it a few oh, weeks yeah, ago. Yeah. I'm sorry. Now the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown, it's gone. So this is a show that typically would run on television every single year yeah. around Halloween time, right? Yes. Not going to be broadcast on TV this year, per, as usual. And you're only going to be able to see it exclusively on Apple TV. This not only includes The Great Pumpkin, but a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. What? You know, when Snoopy makes the Thanksgiving dinner, he pulls oh everything gosh. out of his house, makes the popcorn, sets the table. Terrible. Charlie Brown Christmas. So, what is happening in this so world? So only if you're streaming Apple TV or Apple Plus, can you watch it? Yes, that's it. That's awful. Horrible. Why not put it on TV for free for everyone to see? There's so many childhood... I had a, I had a Snoopy with a full wardrobe of clothing. I love Snoopy so much. Ooh. And do you remember during the holidays they would play those, those like claymation yes. movies like Rudolph and Frosty the Snowman? This yeah. is so crazy with all of this happening. So yesterday AJ in one of his classes had art. And they did a, he brought home his little art paper from yesterday, and it was Snoopy Halloween that they free, so he was very proud of it. Aww. But we have a little tight shot of it. Look at him. He oh, drew that. Snoopy popping out of a little pumpkin there. I know, and he even has a little collar on with an S. I, it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Well, I guess you better stream it since we can't watch it on television anymore. I don't even know how to do that. Remember that Hamilton thing? Never saw that either. <laughs> Never could download that. So who knows I'm, how I'm going to see this. I'm going to come over, grab my mask, and help you with your tech support issues. Uh, always. You do that all the time here, too. By the way, that leads us to our viewer question of the day. What is your all-time favorite Halloween movie? Is it scary? Is it funny? Which one is it? Okay. We're expecting some good responses on this one. 
Not for me, because you know I don't see anything. Hocus Pocus is a great one. It is a great one. I love all the Snoopy ones, too. But then, you know, going back Friday the 13th or Halloween, all of it. But now you see them, and they're so silly. They're not even really scary. If but I want to be scared, I just watch, like, remember political Remember Scream? News. Yes, of course. That was a Drew good Barrymore, one. Barrymore, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was a good that time. That was a good one. Okay, well, send us in your responses. I'll try to think of mine. You know who I am with movies and TV shows. Is Devil Wears Prada count for a Halloween movie? That's scary. <laughs> Meryl Streep is a total witch. All right, still ahead on today's show, one local woman is hoping to turn back the hands of time and look better on her Zoom calls with some very simple cosmetic treatments. We'll explain what she did and how it could help all the rest of us, Courtney. I cannot wait. And Joe Sam is getting a taste of some creepy crawlers. We're going to check in with him to see if he enjoyed his Halloween treats. I think he did. Houston Life returns in just two minutes. Hey, you guys, it's your girl Christina Wells here, and I cannot wait to see Houston Life at 3 p.m. Hi, Courtney. Hi, Derek. I miss you guys. Bye. Hi, we're the consigners from Richmond. Say hi, Grayson. Always rise more. Felt it deep in my soul. We love Houston Life. We can't wait to play this new game we heard about on the show. We're the Montoya family. Actually. And we're watching Houston Life from Needville, Texas. You both got this? Hey, I'm Courtney and Derek. Hi, Green David. Oh, oh. I don't want to take the kiss. Oh, they're so cute. Great. Thank you so much for all of those. It's great uh, seeing some of our viewers. And Christina Wells. Oh, my gosh. Love her so Almost much. puts a smile on my face. Well, with Halloween right around the corner, you might be wondering where you and some of your friends can get out and have a few socially distant cocktails. Well, Lauren Kelly's the girl. She knows where to go. She's hanging out at Present Company on Westheimer with a look at some of their latest boozy cocktails. Oh, I get it. To get you ready for hey. next Saturday. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> you got that boo Z cocktails? I did that. I don't know if it came through or not. But you guys, Present Company is one of my favorite places to hang around. It's right here off of Westheimer and Montrose. And it's known as one of the most Instagrammable bars in Houston for a reason. Just take a look around. And this is how cool it looks during the daytime. Think about what it looks like at night. They've got tons of bright colors, tons of bright drinks, and all the food you can ask for. And this is going to make for a great place if you and your friends want to get out. I know you might be a little hesitant, like, should I or should I not come out to, to present company? Because you want to stay socially distant and you want to stay health and safety cautious. But I'm telling you, there's a ton of space here. And they are adhering to the face mask when you come. But you know what? It's going to be Halloween. It falls on a weekend. It's a Saturday. Your costume may have a mask, so your mask could be encouraged. They have all the food. They're going to prepare a brand new menu of drink items, which they're going to show us in just a few minutes. But I want you to take a look at some of this space we have. We are in the upstairs bar area. There's not only an upstairs bar area, there's a downstairs bar area and a ginormous patio. So if you're looking for somewhere to go, this is definitely going to be one of the places. And coming up next, I've got the cocktail manager who's going to be showing us those very special Halloween cocktails. This is going to be one of them. We'll figure out what's in that coming up a little bit later on in the show. Derek and Courtney, back to you guys. Very nice, Lauren. Perfect assignment for today and very colorful, of course. Thanks, Lauren. Coming up later, make your best first impression on Zoom with some of these tips from an expert. Very nice. And uh, Joe Sam is hanging out. Joe, what are you serving up for us today? Well, we have some tasty cocktails, too, but you know exactly what's going to be in here. How about some flying ants, grasshoppers, and worms after the break? I'll see how they all taste and share how you can try them out, too. Well, welcome back here to Houston Life. You know, this time of the year gives us a unique opportunity to try some new and exciting things. So I did just that by putting my taste buds to the test and trying out Soshi's Creepy Crawler Menu. We are checking out some creepy crawlers here at Soshi. We're going to be heading inside to see what Chef Hugo is cooking up and what slimy little bugs are waiting to be devoured. Let's go. Chef Hugo, this is going to be a wonderful experience for me. I'm already kind of freaking out because I already know this is going to be good. Talk about why this is such a great experience for people to come and try foods that they may not be used to trying. Well, I would say, Joe, it's a, an adventure that you say, right? But um, one of the great things for people that are looking to have 100% protein, protein in one bite 
es de gusanos de maguey, mm. eh, en eh, chicatanas, en eh, of course, chapulines. So what that simply translates to is flying ants, and then we have the jumping grasshoppers, and finally, crunchy, tasty worms. It's a wonderful thing, and uh, this is the heritage of, you know, uh, my land in Oaxaca. Mm -hmm. That's how we eat over there, and uh, it's healthy for you, it's wonderful, and uh, we eat what is local. So that is the reason I brought that heritage here to Houston. I'm ready to get into it all. You're gonna start making those dishes for us, Absolutely. right? All right, chef, all of this looks amazing up here. Now it's time to try it out. I'm a little scared, but we're gonna try it out. It's time to do the D. It's time to do it. <laughs> all right, so what are we trying first? This is the queso fresco. Wish me luck. <laughs> Crunchy. Crunchy, flavorful. Um... It does have a lot of flavor. Yeah. Chef then had me try the oval masa cakes filled with potato and chorizo and topped off with some crispy grasshoppers. Chapulín. Here we go. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh and there's, there's worms falling out of it, too. All right, here we go. <laughs> mm. All right, it's going down. First time for everything. I was able to tackle the braised beef cheeks with more grasshoppers, the pork ribs, an ant mole, and finally, a trio of insects on a crunchy tortilla. I'm sweating. <laughs> Chef Hugo had the perfect idea to help cool me down. So you get all the nice worms incorporated into that salt. <laughs> you, you do, you know. All right, you perfect. You're drying and this how it happened. You like to try it? I want to try it out. So yeah, so let's go ahead and give this a try. All right, you guys, see if we can make this bug salt. This worm salt is what I'm gonna call it. There you, there you go. <laughs> we need to wash all of those bugs down with something. So tell us about the drink that we have here. Well, this is a uh, sochirita, and uh, that is the the sal de gusano mm. that you um, that we crushed up. That we crushed so up. So these were all the screaming bugs. That, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. And now we're gonna drink them. Absolutely. Say cheers. Cheers and thank you to a bugtastic time. Absolutely. Oh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, get your stomachs ready for those bugs. And keep in mind, these bugs are offered not just for Halloween, but all year round. And for, for those that aren't too adventurous, all of these dishes that you saw me try do come with the no bug option. But for those who are gonna be adventurous, like Courtney and Derek right now, we wanna go ahead and see how adventurous they're gonna be. So we're gonna bring in oh. some of those dishes that we had at Sochi. Chef Hugo, oh, amazing wow. chef, okay. has prepared this for you guys, and you have to taste some of what he had. So these are the oval masa cakes with the grasshoppers on top and we have the soshi richa we read it with the it's like a margarita mm -hmm. we'll start and we'll start with the cocktail start how about that cocktail. Joe? delicious look i'm a fan of chef hugo uh everything he makes and touches is out of this park right mm, mm -mm. Mm. i'm just really gonna take is. my retainer out i'm sorry that had to happen gear. what right, am i supposed dive to do right in so you have to try out those uh, those cakes or any one of the, the insects just by themselves because they're spiced with some spices on there too so you're gonna get a little bit of flavor with it i'm gonna go for some of these grasshoppers oh, because there they're go. such lean protein I'll go for a whole handful of those. Oh, oh let's do it, Derek. Let's you are it. you are a trooper for real. Ready for this? Okay. I had to take my retainer out because I didn't want the grasshopper legs getting stuck in it. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah. I've had these at the restaurant before. You want some? I I don't like the I like these. What the are worms. those? Mealworms? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> these are very spicy. Are they? No, they're good. I love it. I love Zochi. Way to go, Joe. I'm proud of you. Oh, I'm I know it was an, an easy assignment for you. Pat myself on the back for that mm -hmm. because my, 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 I had to go ahead and get a little adventurous, but this really did taste good. And mm. like you said, Chef Hugo, amazing chef. He made sure that those dishes were delicious. Absolutely. Joe, the thanks so town. much. Thank you, Joe. Delicious. Absolutely. Still to come on today's show, always looking down at your phone or that computer, what you can do to prevent the dreaded tech neck. Uh-oh. Don't like the sound of that. Also, after the break, we'll get a check of today's forecast with Justin and Keith and Christine. Have a look at what's coming up on the news at 4. Houston Life will be back in two minutes.
Well, welcome back to the second half of Houston Life. I'm Derek Shore. Courtney. We're back. Sorry, oh, another so nap. Sleeping. Oh, uh, what a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> We need to now check in with Justin, who's got a check of the weather, and of course, Keith and Christine. Hey, guys. Hey. Hi, guys. Good hey, to hey. see you. Hey, hey Court. Hey, wake up, wake up. Court. <laughs> yeah. Do we need to discuss narcolepsy problems? <laughs> I, know. I know. And sleep. Look, I was just, you know, I'm a multitasker, listening and sleeping at the same time. <laughs> resting it's my eyes. That it's is a talent, a talent yeah. without a doubt. <laughs> That's my mom's favorite excuse, Derek, is I'm resting my eyes. <laughs> yeah. I'm just resting my Eileen, eyes. my mom heard that, too. Yeah. She was the same thing. Snoring for three hours. She's that is selective resting. here. Hearing, Justin, you know, that's you only right. hear part things. Yes. Yeah, that's right. I will, you know what? I wish I could selectively give you a better fall forecast for this, but unfortunately, I got to give it all to you at this point. So uh, let's get to it as we look into the uh, outdoors here. Our Triangle Energy Canada into downtown, generally showing partly cloudy skies, but boy, oh boy, it's on the warm side out there as well. Look at this 87 degrees. <laughs> Feels like temperatures in the low 90s. I know I, I laugh because I'm nervous, and it's just, oh, it's, hi, it's no, yeah, I know, right? Hi, more summer 87 in Brenham 86 into Katy 84 as you get down towards Galveston so touch cooler out towards the coast where's where, where is fall it's all bottled up here 40s in Seattle 35 in Minneapolis where they got the snow and you can see the 50s and 60s there so it's all coming that northern tier and unfortunately that front continues to lift north and so that's going to keep us very mild Foggy in the morning, just like what we saw. But here's the change. Watch this. Eventually, we get the first front that will bring in some slightly cooler air. Think like low 80s into the weekend. It's the second one that's got a lot more cold air driving in behind that. And that's why that first one here that we just saw a day ago didn't really move through. There's just no cold air. It was all bottled up to the north. Once this one comes through, it'll be a little soggy, I think, for a good chunk of next week. But once it moves through, I do think we're going to see some substantially cooler air. Now, one of our other computer models tries to cheat it off to the west. We're going to go glass half full here, uh, and hopefully that we can take these mid-80s that we've got all the way in through the weekend, pull them down into the 60s, and as I said, Tuesday, Wednesday, a little raw, but uh, better looking weather by Thursday, Friday, and Halloween, guys, not too bad. We'll probably see the low mid-60s for trick-or-treating Saturday night. So there's your win. That's so there it is. There's that's the right. Fall. There it is. There right, right now it's a fight between summer and fall. I know. I Continues. know. Continues. Duking it out. <laughs> All right, Justin. Thank you. So also coming up today at four o'clock, it's a topic we really ought to talk about: bullies finding a new way to target their victims. The new way comes in the form of virtual classrooms. So today at four o'clock, what you and your kids can do to prevent it or deal with it if this happens. And here's a question for all the folks who wear cloth face masks. That's most of us, right? Do you know how often you're supposed to wash them? How often do you wash? <laughs> yours. We've got us wondering over here. We will take a closer look, including the surprising results of a new survey. And finally, masked intruders finding their way into a bank. Well, these are not your typical robbers. They always have masks on, right? Mm -hmm. And how they got in and what those raccoons actually got away with. So that's coming up at 4 o'clock today, you guys. It's so hard yeah. to tell them apart, too. Oh, my, my word. They all <laughs> look so much alike. It's kind of scary. Exactly. In a lineup. Mm -mm. Okay, everywhere. guys, you know, I've already been punked today, so it's your turn. And uh -oh. um, I think we've got Joe in studio for you. Did you see our story earlier, what Joe did and we tried what we were eating? Uh, oh, no, no, I, no, I am I not eating all, a bug. No. Come on. But, oh, yeah, I don't, yeah, we I haven't bugs. played Just, with our Justin's games all about once the bugs. this week. <laughs> Come on, Joe, guys, he's right there. Like we have bugs. grasshoppers, yeah, it tastes like worms, chips. and ants. It tastes yeah, like I, chips. I actually had lunch on the way in, so there's like n like no room in, in any of this. <laughs> Thank you, But I, you know, I could, you know, I could take something to my desk. What about you, Justin? Justin, Justin, Justin's the man. He can he can do this like a champ. Larva. Yeah. Bam. Look at that. It tastes oh, like, like potato chips, right? Tastes like chicken? Tastes like chicken. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> what I nice wow. and salty. Man, I know. That's, that's you know what? Stuff. You're going to get a PR on your run today because of that. I, I think am. so. All protein. My hands are actually clammy right now. Here's the best part. <laughs> Y'all can do it. Come on. Yeah. Brown, our floor Christine, director, Katie Brown, ladies says first. Um, we're still in Texas, I believe, in chivalry. Ladies first. If Christine does it, I will do it. Hey, Keith, you can do it. Try the smoky ones. They're the best. Which ones are those? I don't know what this all of them. is, <laughs> but I'm doing it. They're all smoky. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. If Christine can do it. So <laughs> Ooh, that is crunchy. I told you. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a corn nut. Your corn nuts. It's a corn nut. Exactly. <laughs> okay. A corn nut with <laughs> legs and antlers <laughs> and antennas. And some fur. It's all good. Okay, I need to wash oh, this it, down it with something. It took me that long to swallow that. <laughs> They're actually oh, not too bad. That was very fun. The taste isn't that bad. Yeah, Christine, we'll get the bug question. Out of your head. Does it make it less scary when you cover your face and eat the bug? 
Just wondering. <laughs> That's a technique. I just, there's something about just making sure it just stays in there. Okay. <laughs> I'm still hey, chewing. Hey, Derek, can I get some tajin with these two? Yes. Oh, no problem. Are you still going to town on them? Cheers, really friend. Good. We'll uh -huh. be right over during commercial break. Okay. Joe, did you bring me some okay. water? Give me some, yeah, Joe, we need some water. We need some, well, I don't say, Enjoy yeah, we need something to wash this I'm thing I'm actually <laughs> shaking. Okay. You can have the rest Bail. there for you. Bail. Thank you. How kind of you. <laughs> Cheers. We're here for you. Okay, guys, coming up after the break, are you noticing more lines and wrinkles on your face? What about your neck? We're going to follow one local woman's journey to look better on those Zoom calls. Yeah, and Lauren Kelly is giving us a sneak peek at some spooky Halloween cocktails from one of Houston's trendiest patio bars. Houston Life will be right back. Welcome back. Remember in-person meetings? That was so last year. 2020 has been all about the video chat. And while working remotely has its benefits, it almost always means more screen time. And it can be tough to put your best face forward when you're noticing things like wrinkles and a new thing called tech neck. But there are some quick procedures that'll have you feeling like yourself again. Well, hi, Casey. Hi, it's good Jessica to see Kenny. you again. Just like many of us, former TV meteorologist turned business professional Casey Curry has found her days filled with video calls. And after all these months, she was starting to see a few things she didn't like. So Dr. Laconi, I've been working from home. Right. And my office at home is not set up like at work. At work, I've followed all your directions. And I have my computer's up high. Literally high, high. At home, I don't have that full setup. So yeah. I'm guessing these right. lines. Right, get these little things we call necklace lines. And Casey's not alone with those necklace lines, also known as tech neck. About a third of full-time workers in the U.S. are still working remotely. And that means more time staring at yourself, your coworkers, even your family on a screen. But the good news is there are some easy cosmetic treatments to reverse the problem areas. Basically, this is gonna relax those muscles like those concentration lines. In one quick visit, Casey was able to get Botox in her frown lines, forehead, crow's feet, and necklace lines, and some filler in the lips, and marionette lines. Ooh. So tech neck and frown lines be gone. Casey's ready to conquer her next video call. She sure is, and Casey joins us now along with Dr. Richard Laconi from the Institute of Anti-Aging. It is great to see you both, my friends. And Casey, you look great now, like with the makeup, you're a few days after treatment. So just tell us about uh, how long did it take for that redness to go away? Because I know a lot of people see the little bumps and the redness and they think, oh no, what happened? No, and I think too, everybody's a lot more open about about, you know, things like Botox and fillers. And so, you know, when you have like a little, you know, dot, we call them mosquito bites almost, you know, it's really no big deal. You know, I don't worry about covering them up, but I would say a couple of days. I mean, really th we did this maybe on like Thursday, Richard. Um, and so by Sunday, I looked perfect. Uh, and now today the swelling's gone, you know, any little bit that I had. So and Casey, you look, you look phenomenal. I understand that. So typically pre COVID you would go in periodically and just do a few little touch ups. But this year you had sort of not gone at all this entire year since January. Is that right? Well, I mean, think about it. You know, I mean, we all, I think we're a little bit hesitant to do anything other than what we absolutely had to and i didn't put things like botox and fillers in my absolutely had to and i think a lot of us feel that way but now we've got a handle on i think how to be safe when we go places especially when we go to a physician's office like dr laconi's and it just was the time i would just gotten to the point where i just really looked exhausted all the time and so it just got to the tipping point for me where i just I couldn't take it anymore. So thankfully, Dr. Laconi was able to whip it up real quick. <laughs> well, you don't look exhausted anymore. You look camera ready, that bright smile. Dr. Laconi, let's talk about Botox and fillers because I, th I think those words, it, unless you've done it before and you know just what it can do for your own life and your own face, a lot of people may steer away because of fear. So just kind of walk us through what they are, how they can be used and how long they last. Well, you know, uh, facial fillers, as you said, have been around for a very long time. It's a very simple technique. It uses uh, biologically natural substances to fill the places where your face has lost some volume, under the eyes, uh, in the cheeks, lips, things like that. 
again, it's perfectly natural substance. Botox, you know, again, that's been around for almost 20 years now, billions of doses given, and yet it's great for relaxing wrinkles in the forehead, around your eyes, and other uses too. And we're seeing some video right now of the application process uh, when Casey had her treatments last week. Uh, the, the redness, any any temporary bumps. When can people expect those things to go away and, and you know sort of experience the full effects of the treatment? Actually, it's that's a matter of minutes. You know, for the Botox, those little bumps are gone in 34 minutes. Uh, I think you know the most. Uh, visible thing, sometimes you may get a bruise, maybe one out of 10 times, a little bruise that goes away in a day or so. It so really, it's really very, very simple uh, procedure and easy to tolerate. Yeah, simple, tolerable for sure. And this little needle we're seeing right now, that's actually like the same as a pediatric needle. It's a tiny, tiny little needle. You barely feel anything. I know this because Dr. Laconi, you do my Botox as well. Casey, would you say, fair to say, that your confidence level has gone up since you were able to get back in and sort of, you know, do, do the routine? Uh -huh. Well, and you know, in, in, in my job now, I still have to do video presentations and I, I do some emceeing work. And so it's important that I look like I got the sleep that I wish I had. And that's the best part about it is I find that I'm wearing less makeup, my skin looks better, and I just really have that awake look that I wish I had, you know, pre-COVID, pre-job, pre-kids, you know, all of that kind of good stuff. So for me, it's absolutely worth it. Well, you look like a pro, Casey. It is great to see you, Dr. Laconi. It is great to see you as well. I'll see you tonight for your virtual open house a little later on in a few hours. Great. See you then. Okay, thanks to you both. Let's toss it on over to Courtney now with some other ideas to help us look our best on our next video chat. Courtney? Okay, don't fall asleep. That's the first thing that you're supposed to do, right? Okay. <laughs> Besides Botox and fillers, by the way, Casey looks amazing before and after. Absolutely. The Institute of Anti-Aging also offers one of my favorite things, hydrofacials. I'm completely addicted to this. Dermal fusion and also photofacials. But if you can't make it into the office, there are some products that can help you look your best at home. We're going to share with you some of those next. And we're going to check back in with Lauren Kelly to see what spooky cocktail she is mixing up for us next on Houston Life. Welcome back to Houston Life. Before the break, we were talking about how cosmetic treatments can help you put your best face forward for video calls. Dana Laconi with the Institute of Anti-Aging joins me now for a conversation in other ways that we can prevent the dreaded now word and phrase tech neck. Hi, Dana. Great to see you. Hey, hi, Courtney. Okay, you and I have chatted about tech neck before. Let's explain what this is because they're basically the lines and wrinkles that we're getting on our necks, right, from looking at our devices. That's right, you know what's happening, like a lot of people are sitting at home kind of looking down and they're basically causing these little creases in their neck. Just like if you were, like take a piece of paper and keep folding it back and forth, you're gonna get a crease. And the same thing is happening every time you bend down, you are actually causing that little crease. And by the way, where do we see the signs of our true age? hands and neck. So neck. those are two areas that we cannot forget. Okay, so let's talk about products. If somebody says, you know what, I'm nervous about doing anything to that area, we start off with different products first. What do you have? Well, we have a couple really great ones here. Um, we have TNS, which is the latest and greatest from Allergan, the makers of Botox and fillers. This, um, it, it has like essential serums, growth factors, it's fantastic. We also have um, Nectifirm, which is incredible for your neck. I mean, that will really just kind of help moisturize the neck. It has peptides in it. And then uh, we also have a store, uh, a drugstore version called Cerave, which I absolutely love. It has peptides. I mean, it's not, of course, not as strong as some of the medical grades that we carry, but, but this is a cheaper version. So. So yeah, come on in for a consultation. We'll tell you which one is best for you. And by the way, that's about $15 or even $12 for that CeraVe. I use the, the Nectifirm based on your recommendation. And then that first serum, I'm noticing a big difference in, in the texture of the skin. But let's talk about, we are at home, we're on our devices, we're laying on, on, in bed looking at our phones or we're, you know, just like a cell phone, right? We never want that photo shooting down at us we want to be up and that's what you say is the first tip is always elevate your devices always, always elevate like even like right now i have my computer on a, on a monitor it's elevated so you're looking straight 
you know, straight at the screen, right? So you're not looking down. So at your home office, definitely elevate. Even if you do what Casey did, put some cereal boxes under her screen, that kind of helps. Um, again, you've got you've got things like this, like if you're kind of walking around, you know, you can hold it up, especially like if you're taking selfies. Um, but and here's like another really cool um, stand that I have. Like you can put on your desktop, you know, you can put your kitchen table um, on your office, on your desk. And then my favorite of all is this little thing. You can put it around your neck, like when you're laying in bed, and you can sit there and watch a movie, you can type. So anyway, all this stuff is available on uh, Amazon. It's really cheap and very effective. Just kind of keep that neck up. Absolutely, and it just looks like it's part of the outfit. Nothing to see here. What do you mean? It's just my monitor, but we're protecting our neck. You know what? One thing that we love about you and Richard and the rest of the people at the Institute of Anti-Aging is your open houses, girl. They're always really fun, but of course, during these times, it's virtual, and today, this all starts at 4 o'clock, right? It does. Immediately following this, we're going to our virtual open house. We're going to be showing all of our uh, procedures on you know, live doing Botox, fillers, uh, cool sculpting, cool tone. So it's a good, good opportunity to kind of see what we do here and see these procedures in action. And it's great because there's going to be door prizes, special pricing on patient favorites as well. But check them out. Dana, it is so great to see you. You always have the best advice, you and Richard and the rest of the gang over there at the Institute of Anti-Aging. We miss seeing you. Love you guys. Love you too. Thanks so much, Dana. They are the best in town to connect with the Institute of Anti-Aging. Call this number, 713-807-1000, or visit them online at antiageinstitute.com. Derek? I got to get one of those neck things. I that know, looks right? very cool. All right. Thank you, Courtney. Now let's check back in with Lauren Kelly, who is hanging out in Montrose with some spooky adult Halloween potions. Lauren, what cocktails do you have in front of you? Hey. I love that they're calling them adult potions because it's like a concoction. Let's see what they've come up with. By the way, Halloween just 10 days out and it's a full moon and daylight savings. We get an extra hour back. So present company is the place to be. Plenty of space to social distance. Two huge patios inside bar. And I'm here with Rex Nielsen. He is the beverage manager here at present company. And he is showing us some of their craft spooky cocktails on their Halloween menu. So let's go ahead and show everybody what they are. Let's start with our Halloween um, pumpkin puree, organic pumpkin, vanilla almond extract, pumpkin spice. And this is a shot, my this friend. This is a right? shot, so, a ooh, spooky hey, cauldron hey, shot, hey, hey. and okay. Irish whiskey. Okay, okay. Um, this is uh, Bacardi Spice beet powder. Gives it that earthy vegetal flavor. It's called the red rum. The and red it's got rum. Horns for a reason. Yeah, there you go. Here we go. Let's go to the um, next one. This is a resting witch face. <laughs> Te tequila Strega, which is Italian for witch. Okay. So it's kind of like uh, a seasonal margarita. Interesting. And this pretty kitty right here. Uh, what is, is that? This is the, the necrophiliac uh, Japanese rice whiskey, hibiscus. Um, just really light, easy to go down. Awesome. Well, let's come on over here and let's see how we can make one of these beverages real quick. What do you want to start with? Let's do the resting witch face because Hocus Pocus, the San Francisco's are bad. Oh, like, let's my, do my it. My favorite movie. <laughs> I had four cats named Binks. Oh, from the movie. four. Yeah. That's nice. You're not a crazy cat guy. No, are not you? yet. It's okay. It, it's if, okay. if it's if I'm married, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so all of these are on the menu here at Present Company for Halloween, which you guys will be open. You can have food. You got plenty of food we got, here. We got food no pub crawl this year okay. but pr plenty of social distancing costumes are welcome and it's even better because if people have a mask for their costume you yeah can it's built right it in inside. there you go okay all right let's see can i give this a sh can i give it a shake yeah yeah you shake it for me i'm gonna add some sapphire wolf berry okay okay this is my favorite this part, adds I'm a little allowed. flavor and yeah, yeah okay you gotta show me how to do it because i usually make a mess uh, just use your arms just, just take it all your aggression just on it. use the arms okay do i go ahead and go yeah. okay like just that like that okay all right ah! harder yeah <laughs> Oh, I'm so cocktail right now. I'm so cocktail. All right, I will need your help getting it open. Let's see. There you go. go oh, you shook it back. Oh, you're natural. Job? Yeah. Thank you. We're, Thank we're you. hiring. There you go. Elbow. Here, elbow. Here we go. All right, you guys, I made a successful resting witch face. Thank you so much, Rex, and the entire crew here at Present Company for showing us their Halloween menu. Look at that. It's so beautiful. I'm going to hang out here and test the rest of the menu and make sure it's okay before everybody comes here next Saturday. You guys in the studio, back to you. Oh, look at that. 
The Woo! rusting witch face, I need it. It's genius. I wish you could have seen the look on Courtney's face when she saw that Hocus Pocus cocktail. Oh. It's perfect. Oh, lovely. Okay. We're going there on Friday. Yep, we'll see you then. Thanks, Lauren. And we'll be right back with more Houston Life. Cheers. And that just about does it for us today on Houston Life. The time is now 3.58 p.m. Thanks so much for joining us today. Courtney. Courtney. Oh. You've got to stop doing this. It's resting my eyes, dude. <laughs> Come on. Take advantage of the moment. Okay. Well, that does it for us today at Houston Life. Why don't we head it on over to <gasps> Keith and Christine and Justin in hey, Studio A. Derek, cheese whiz. Just buy some cheese whiz and walk. <laughs> <laughs> Just to give you some ideas, genius. buddy. That is I'm genius. a multitasker. Yeah. What can I say? Okay. I totally get it. If you have five seconds, it's like, yep, take, take advantage. advantage. <laughs> yep, I'm right there with you. Great to see you guys.